Two things that I learned that I use pretty often when I'm following a compass whenever I'm out in the woods. One of them, well, let me just start by saying a lot of people, you can't just necessarily take a compass and just stagger around out in the woods and find your way. It's just, there's too much looking, looking up, looking down, and there's too many objects to have to go around. But <clears throat> I like to keep things simple. And as simple as I can get them is, I use the two techniques. One of them is called dead reckoning. It's uh, something I read about in uh, Mike Hawk's book. And uh, what it is is where you pick an object and then you pick a, another object and you walk to it. And then once you get to that object, you look back to this object and then pick a third object. And that way it'll keep you in a straight line. And then there's another technique it's called reverse bearings that you want to you want to check yourself while you're doing it. And like I want to go east because I know that's where uh, that's where everything is. So if I want to go east, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start with this tree right here, this old crooked tree, and then I'm gonna or orient my compass. And then I'm gonna pick another object. For, for another object, it's going to be that tree right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk to it. I'm, 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 I got my direction of, of travel in the east. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk to that object. All right. Now I've walked. I'm walking east. I picked my other, my first tree, my starting point, and then I came to the second tree. I'm fixing to pick out a third tree, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna line up the two trees. They're perfectly in line, okay? When they're perfectly in line, take my compass, aim it back north, okay? Now I'm heading, I'm heading east. If I stand directly in, directly in between the two trees, and I'm getting west. So that's perfect. That's what I need to do. So now, without moving too much, I got my trees in line. I'm going to turn completely around, and then I'm going to pick me out a new object. All right, got myself lined up there with east. I mean north. I got my direction of travel arrow on east. All right, for me, it's going to be that big, giant pine tree. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk to that pine tree. But before I walk, I'm going to look at this tree because, you, as you can see, there's a bunch of crap in the way right there. And that's what makes picking out these trees like this. And say I'm looking at the top of the tree. If you can see the top of the tree right there, I'll just study the top of the tree. And then whenever I make my way back over to, the, uh, to that big pine tree, when I make my way to it, I'm going to look back and I'm going to look up at the top of that tree. And that's the same way with uh, any kind of really bad terrain. Use the trees, get them in line, use the tops of the trees, use reverse bearings. Like if you're going east, stop. When you turn around to check, make sure you're still pointing west, opposite of where you're going. If you're not, then you're going crooked. You need to change. You need to make sure and go back to that first object before you get lost. And that'll keep you on the straight, straight and narrow.